This is question number 23. B and C are in partnership sharing profits and losses as 3 is to 1. They admit D into the firm. D paying a premium of Rs. 15,000 for one third share of the profits. As between themselves, B and C agree to share the future profits and losses equally. Draft journal entries showing appropriation of the premium money. Now, working notes. Old ratio of B is to C is equal to 3 is to 1. D is admitted for 1 upon 3 share, 1 third share. They are sharing the ratio of 3 is to 1. In future, B and C will be sharing equally. And D is admitted for 1 third share. Let the total profit of the firm be 1. Very, very important question. Remaining share of B and C after D's admission, 1 minus 1 by 3 is equal to LCM 3, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 by 3. B's new share, that is 2 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 2. This two-third share of a B and C combined is shared equally, taken equally by B and C in 1 is to 1 ratio. Say 1 half to B, 1 half to C, not in the ratio of 3 is to 1. Now, that is 2 by 6 for B. For C, C's new share, it will be 2 by B multiplied by half. That is 2 by 6. C, B and C sharing in half of ratio. Now, D's new share, it is 1 by 3 share. He is getting admission for one third share multiplied by 2 upon 2. That is 2 by 6. Therefore, the new ratio of A is to B is to C is equal to 2 is to 2 is to 2 is equal to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Then sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio. B, sac B sacrifice. Old share is 3 by 4 minus new share 1 by 3. That is LCM 12, 9 minus 4. That is 5 upon 12 sacrifice. Whereas C sacrifice is equal to 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 3, that is equal to LCM 12, that is 3 minus 4, that is equal to minus 1 upon 12, that is gain. Hence, C will not get anything from goodwill, not credited or get. C has to, C's capital account has to be debited for his share of gain while D is being admitted. Now, D paid for goodwill for one third share rupees fifteen thousand. It is given. D contributed rupees fifteen thousand for one third share. Hence, we have to find out goodwill of the farm. Hence, goodwill of the farm must be rupees fifteen thousand multiplied by three upon one. That is, therefore, goodwill of the farm is rupees fifteen thousand multiplied by three upon one. That is rupees forty five thousand. This was the goodwill. Hence. Therefore, treatment for goodwill is gaining to sacrificing, you know. C will transfer for goodwill to B. C's capital account will be debited to B's capital account will be credited. That is rupees 45,000 multiplied by 1 by 12. That is rupees 3750. You can test this by writing. B will get for goodwill from both C and D. That is 45,000. Rupees is the goodwill of the firm and 5 upon 12 is the share of sacrifice of B. Then B will be getting rupees 18,750 rupees for premium for goodwill. Now, D will transfer for goodwill to B. That is, D is only bringing 15,000 for one third share. Hence, D will be transferring the entire amount to only B, the sacrificing partner's capital. Then, fair notes with proper journal format then after writing the journal format the first entry cash account debited to premium for a goodwill account in the debit and credit column rupees 15,000 each being premium for goodwill 
received in cash from C. The next one is premium for goodwill account debited. This rupees fifteen thousand. C's capital account debited rupees three seven five zero in the debit column to B's capital account rupees eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Being premium money received from new partner and due to C's gain. Transfer to old partner's capital account in a sacrificing ratio because she is not sacrificing; she is gaining. Hence, she's capital is also debited by rupees three seven five zero. The totaling will be rupees thirty three thousand seven hundred fifty. Both the columns, debit and credit.